Why did we begin this book on marriage with such an embarrassing story from our relationship? Well, first, we think there's power in being honest and transparent. And second, if God can do a great work in our relationship, no relationship is beyond his ability to repair and restore. We couldn't write a book about marriage and relationships if we weren't committed to being vulnerable about sharing the good and the bad. We're convinced that displaying our deficiencies allows you to see Christ's sufficiency and how he kept us together in marriage for almost 15 years. No one who writes about marriage has it all together because no one who is married has it all together. We're not here to impress you. We're here to point you to the God who works in spite of us, not because of us. Marriage is a process, and we're inviting you to look at God's work in the present tense of our lives. Before we exchanged vows, we were two people fighting for pole position in a race to our wedding day. We had no concept of what a gospel-saturated marriage was. Our communication was poor, and our fights clearly showed that we were not on the same page. We had no idea what oneness and togetherness looked like in the face of suffering. We were both spiritually immature and used emotionalism as a crutch to stay theologically aloof. We struggled sexually, each losing respect for the other because of how much time we'd spent trying to go as far as possible without technically having intercourse. And financially speaking, we were on two different planets. Alicia had checkings and savings accounts and good credit, And I had four bank accounts, all with red numbers. We each had baggage, past issues, and emotional wounds that had never healed properly. Had God not intervened, we would have never made it. If we had to summarize our marriage in one statement, it would be this. Our marriage is a union of two broken people who have both entrusted their hearts to God through salvation in Jesus Christ and each other while living in a broken world that keeps trying to break them apart. If you're married, You and your spouse are in the middle of a fight. The world is using different tactics to distract you, trip you up, and tempt you to throw in the towel and leave the ring defeated. The world wants to destroy your marriage. But God is with you in the fight. And through forgiveness and grace, He is ready to lead you, to protect you, not only from the world, but also from yourselves. You have to choose to fight for your marriage, together, no matter what you're facing. Are you ready to enter the ring? We desire to see more gospel-saturated marriages flood the neighborhoods of our nation and world. Marriages that holistically apply the gospel to every nuance of married life, becoming a vivid picture of the saving work of Jesus Christ. We want to help you fight off the assaults of the world so that your marriage can serve as one of the greatest illustrations of the gospel in our society today. That means we're going to go through some pretty hard-hitting things, and D.A. and I are going to be honest about our own failings and struggles as we do that. So you're not alone in this fight. We're going to look at what God has shown us about the institution of marriage through Scripture and how the world is assaulting His intention for it. As believers, we have a way forward in living out and apologetic for what He's declared, but it's hard. And we'll talk about the tension of two people becoming one and how, for the first few years of our marriage, we fought over which one of us we would become. We're also going to get practical, and we'll talk about communication, conflict, suffering, and our spiritual lives in marriage. We will work through the different roles of discipleship between husband and wife, as well as the high calling of raising children and the complications that come with it. We'll have an honest conversation about sexuality and physical intimacy as well. And we're going to talk about money. We purposely deal with this topic because finances are often a huge struggle in marriage. We filed for bankruptcy before we'd been married five years. In all of these areas, we do not have a squeaky clean record. But God has taught us some things along the way, and we want to journey with you through what we have learned. In our world today, convictions rooted in Scripture are under attack. And since marriage is a tangible illustration for the gospel, the enemy of our soul, 2 Corinthians 4.4, doesn't want our marriages to thrive. We can be tempted to give up and give in when the pressure of this life squeeze us from all sides, and the world is waiting to cheer on our failure. But through the power of the Holy Spirit, Romans 8.9-13, we can put to death those temptations, cling to our spouses, and stand with boldness against the evil forces at work. We can choose to fight for each other instead of against each other. And we can choose to fight for our marriages. And with God's help, we can win.